This is the Osotec H200 Lite 2-in-1 Vacuum Cleaner. For those who are unaware of what is a 2-in-1 Vacuum Cleaner, simply put, this is basically a vacuum cleaner that can vacuum and mop the floor at the same time. So after using this particular machine for about 2 weeks, I'm going to share with you what I think about this particular machine and if this is a good investment for your family. So first of all, the Osotec H200 comes in two different models. The standard H200 and the one I have here is the H200 Lite. Their difference is basically the different suction power. The standard H200 has slightly more powerful suction power compared to the Lite. And the difference also compared is the roller unit. The Lite comes with a, a cylindrical roller unit while the H200 has a flat roller unit which has a slightly larger surface area with LED light at the front. Other than that, they share almost similar uh, features and performance. So if you are interested to find out the H200, you can check out some other reviews. This one will just focus on the H200 light. In terms of the packaging, what you get in the box is the vacuum cleaner itself, the charging base with the charging adapter, a liquid detergent, and as well as a cleaning stick. The cleaning stick is quite genius, I must say. It is long and then it comes with a thread cutter at the end of the stick. So you can cut those uh, tangled hairs or uh, fabrics in case you accidentally suck it into the roller. In terms of the vacuum unit itself, it is very similar to most of the 2-in-1 vacuums in the market. You get a handle at the top, the main unit, and as well as the roller unit on the bottom. So because of the 2-in-1 nature, you will need to have two different separate tanks. So one for the clean water, which is at the front, you can just detach it, and basically you just need to fill in clean water and add some detergent into this particular tank and it will use this the water in this tank to mop the floor so during mopping it will slowly dispense the water or the soap water to the roller and then you will mop the floor and then at the same time it will vacuum suck up all the excess dirt and water to the tank at the back so there is a separate tank at the back which is to store all your dirty uh, grimes and stuff which when you vacuum and it is really simple to take it up by just pressing a single button at the top and then it will detach. So one thing I really like about this dirty tank is that you will need to press a button at the top to unlock the cover. So this is very important because I have seen some vacuum cleaners that doesn't come with this kind of locking mechanism. So whenever they take it out, the dirty water tank, they have to be extra careful to not spill the dirty water. You know, you will just have to like do more work on that. And one of the very genius thing about this dirty water tank is that the design of this particular vacuum is you can use it at 180 degrees flat so if you just want to see it in action basically you can go until like straight out flat on the floor this is very useful if you want to like clean anywhere under the bed or sofa or table this is a no-brainer feature and because of this particular feature they had to like redesign the dirty water tank so that the dirty water does not get sucked into the um, motor and then damage it so the way they have like routed the water so it prevents the water from like getting directly into the vacuum and as well the motor is has a particular special blade spinning blade that will uh, somehow remove the excess water that somehow get into it so they won't like get sucked into the motor i think this is brilliant because i don't think i have seen any other two-in-one vacuum cleaner with this functionality oh by the way just to like make sure the 
whole experience is uh, good. They also added a separate roller at the back here. So whenever you're trying to go 180 degrees flat, at least you don't have to like um, worry about how your vacuum is scratching the floor. At the top of the handle comes with three different buttons. One is power. Uh, whenever you press it, you can uh, turn it on and off. There's a mode change. So mode change will only work whenever when you turn on the vacuum cleaner. So when you are uh, vacuuming the floor, you can change it to standard mode, uh, powerful mode, or a uh, suction mode, which is uh, they are not dispensing any water. In case when you spill water on the floor, you can use suction mode to just clean up the mess. And the third button, which is located at the top back here, is a self-cleaning uh, button. So when you dock it to the charging station, and then you press the uh, self-cleaning mode, the vacuum will go through the process of uh, self-cleaning. That means they will dispense water to the roller, and then the roller will continuously rolling uh, in different direction. And then at the same time, uh, sucking back all the dirty water back into the dirty water tank. It weighs somewhere about four to five kilograms, but when you are vacuuming, you don't have to lift this particular unit because whenever you turn it on, you will feel that this vacuum is trying to move forward. So you just have to like direct the direction and then vacuum whichever place you want to vacuum. Afterwards, you just have to lift it to the dock to charge. The vacuum is really great based on the, my experience. It cleans up uh, dirty floors uh, with uh, dust pickup is quite excellent because whenever I clean it up, my family members would felt that, okay, the, the floor is cleaner today. So that is what I did uh, because I just cleaned the floor without telling them. So they're like, oh, they can definitely feel the difference from there. And that brings us to the maintenance of this particular vacuum cleaner. You know, maintenance is one of the most important aspects when it comes to these um, home appliances. So first thing first, you will have to remember to fill up the clean water tank before you start cleaning. And every single time after you clean, dock it to the charger, self-cleaning completed, you must remember to dump all the dirty water from the dirty water tank. Obviously, you don't want to leave dirty water in the tank for long period of time because it will, well, it will become very nasty. Um, even if you forget it for one or two times, well, the, the effect will stay there, you know. And one thing is um, I have to point out is because of the this particular dog doesn't come with, I, I believe in China, they do have a separate different models. They have this uh, self-drying machine. That means they will dry the roller because the roller is cloth. So when it is damp and you leave it for a long period of time, it will the bacteria will grow and then molds and as well as it gets smelly over time. So this particular dog doesn't come with a drying function. Then you will have uh, faced this issue. So at times, like I mentioned, maintenance again, uh, when you are free, you have to like remove the top cover and clean it from time to time. And then if possible, you also have to like remove the roller for drying or I mean, just to prevent the roller become nasty. Otherwise, every single time when you start up this machine and then mop the floor, I don't think you want that kind of result uh, to be affect your home at the time. And for the last thing I want to mention is, um, I don't know if this is partic one particular problem that affects my unit or all the units. I think that the clean water tank somehow has a potential of a slowly leaking water. I, I'm not sure why, but that is the particular problem with my, my particular unit. And oh, speaking of the dock itself, um, they also have this uh, easily removable tray so that you can clean the uh, top tray because as you can see, every single time after you clean the self-clean this particular uh, vacuum, some of the dirty residue will still stay on this uh, tray. 
So it is a very good design so that you can just like simply take it out and then wash it and it doesn't affect the entire dock. You just have to leave it at your uh, living room or kitchen and then you don't have to touch it anymore. Okay, so last but not least, let's talk about the price. On Lazada Malaysia, the listing price for the H200 Lite is 2,999 ringgit Malaysia. But of course, that is whatever price they list as standard retail price. They always have discount. And right now, they are having a discount for this particular unit at 1,399 ringgit. At 1,399, this is a very impressive price point i must say because i have tested other uh, wet and dry vacuum previously and most of them are selling at nearly 2000 ringgit i mean those good ones i'm not talking all the the cheaper ones of course you can get cheaper ones at less than 1000 ringgit but most of the time they don't get a lot of features like this one the main selling point of the hush 200 series is the ability to go 180 degrees flat and the cleaning capabilities as well and 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 one more thing i also need to point out is that if you look at shopee malaysia right now the official also tax uh, official store they are selling this same vacuum unit for just 1099 so I would say this is a steal considering that you don't have to fork out so much for some other more famous brands and you can get started with a pretty decent two-in-one vacuum cleaner so i think it is really a no-brainer purchase right now and especially during those sales period you can probably get different vouchers to work with to purchase this particular unit for really really affordable price so that's all I want to share with you this particular Osotec H200 Lite vacuum cleaner, 2-in-1 vacuum cleaner. If you have any questions about this vacuum cleaner, you can list it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next video.